Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is your host, JC, Every Thoughts. Everyone gather around should be good ones today. Today's topic is, man says that women use their good years on toxic men. And when men typically say this, they usually refer to women from the age of 18 to 30. They feel like women past 30 are past their prime or past their expiration date. But I'm just here to tell you that it doesn't really matter uh, what age a woman is, she has a lot of value, she has a lot of energy within her, and those are a lot of lonely, misogynistic men who have self-esteem issues, who talk the side, the side of their neck every time they try to talk and try to degrade women, because women have value from 18, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and beyond. There's a lot that you can learn from women from each each age, age bracket. And my thing is, as men, we got to be the men that God called us to be, you know what I'm saying? We gotta be humble, we gotta be kind, we gotta be generous, we gotta be trustworthy, we gotta be loyal, we gotta be honest. Honest. And a lot of times as men, when we're out here approaching women, we're wool and sheep clothing, meaning we're presenting our, ourselves to being this good, Christian, godly men. But a lot of times we have a lot of deep issues within ourselves. And a lot of times as men, we're just approaching women for sex. For sex. And that's not good, you know. We need to be approaching women with the intent to marry her, to, the intent to walk her down the aisle, the intent to be loyal to her, be faithful to her, to honor her, to um, worship her, and make sure that she's walking side by side to by us. And a lot of times as men, we're not doing that. And we keep putting the blame on women on why they keep choosing different toxic men. And we're not trying to do the work on ourselves to be better men. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to learn from each other, go to small groups. We're not trying to study, read the Bible. We're not trying to engage healthy within among brothers, trying to build our business, build on our credit, um, build on our finances. Because the average man is making less than $40,000. So how can we sit up there and talk or the great women and we're not getting our stuff together? And a lot of times women, they're dating all types of men. They've dated CDF, CEO, they, they date guys working at Walmart, Target. They date all kinds of men. And, you know, they usually get the short end of the stick because a lot of men are not putting the best foot forward like they did in the beginning. A lot of times, as men, a lot of the time, they just want to have sex with a woman. And our mindset got to change from just being so thirsty, so lust oriented towards women to just try to be peaceful, try to really get to build, to deal with her, want to help her grow, develop, whatever she's trying to nourish, whether it's her career, whether she's in school. We need to be the type of men that lead by example, lead with love and compassion. That's what I'm all about. And like I said, be a real gentleman towards her, you know, be a chivalrous towards her, you know, hold the door for her, you know, pay for the first day, you know, help her gas, you know. These are the type of young men that we need to be like, each and every day, because a lot of times as men, we're not being the men that God called us to be. And a lot of times as men, we're 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 not we're not pushing for greatness. We're not striving for greatness. A lot of us are unemployed, or we're just making a minimum wage, or making less than forty thousand in average for for men. So we have to do a lot better on our our position as men before we can even talk about women date, dating toxic talks to men, you know what I'm saying? Like we can see here talk about red flags till, the, till I'm blue in the face. But like I said, until we change our mindset, till we try to change who we trying to date, our mindset into dating, then like I said, we're not gonna proceed farther. And like I said, me being married, that's one thing I was, uh, it, that was instilled me from a young age, to go out there and, and find your wife, you know, have a children, have a family. You know, these dudes, I don't know what they, morals where the core values are but they keep talking about women keep choosing toxic men and they toxic they damn self they not trying to settle down they not trying to grow or try to build with the woman they just want sexual pleasure and you got to realize that a lot of these men come from a lot of insecurity because they was rejected a lot in high school middle school couldn't get a date to the prom and a lot of that builds up into adulthood because it's unresolved pain coming from their childhood and they wasn't able to process that through correctly. So that's all it is. I saw, saw the hatred going on because they're they're mad at themselves. So don't take it personal because a lot of these men are bitter, they're lonely, you know, really having 
Um, a thing with real love, you know, they're, you know, they, if you're starving for love, you know, they're starving for uh, just someone to talk to them because trust me, if you're, you're happy, you're whole, you feel complete, you don't have these type of uh, saying it towards women. You're going to love women. You're going to cherish women. You're going to devote, your, devote yourself to women. And that's why I'm saying with me being a husband, me being a husband, me being a father to, a, to my daughter, and that's what I'm all about. I'm all about family. I'm all about uh, loyalty, commitment, um, being trustworthy, being honorable, being humble. That's what I'm all about. And that's what, you know, being a gentleman is all about. And you know, my gentleman code it is on Amazon, so if you'd like to check it out. Um, I'll leave I'll leave a link in the description box. But yeah, until next time, I'm out. JC, your thoughts.